Hey guys, Miles here with Android Police, and today we're going to be checking out the top 5 best web browsers for Android in 2018, and all of these options are free. Starting off the list in no particular order, we have Dolphin Browser. Dolphin, in my opinion, is a clean, fast, and useful browser. Taking a look at the main interface, we have our home screen with shortcuts to a bunch of common websites like eBay, Amazon, Reddit, Facebook, etc. Then Dolphin includes an app that gives you app suggestions to download from the Play Store. It also has a built-in store for add-ons, which is where Dolphin really shines. You have a bunch of add-ons to choose from, and they're all aimed at enhancing the overall browsing experience. They have add-ons like a flash video player, an add-on for autofill, an add-on for controlling the brightness of a specific web page, an advanced screen capture tool, and a bunch more. Another major feature in Dolphin is their sonar and gesture settings. For gestures, you simply assign a letter you draw to open whatever website you choose, but the thing is that to me, it's not really efficient long pressing the Dolphin button, swiping up the gesture control, then doing the gesture. It just seems a lot more complicating than just typing the URL into the address bar, especially when you likely won't have to type the whole thing out. You'll probably get a suggestion for it. Sonar is a little bit different, however. Sonar is basically using voice commands to access a certain site and you activate it by shaking the phone and while this might be a bit of a battery hog people who are on the move and just need to quickly look something up I could see this being pretty useful for them. Dolphin also has theming options so you can either make one using an image on your phone or choose one from the hundreds they have on their theme store but with that and a bunch of other little handy features Dolphin is a pretty great browser and I wouldn't say it's necessarily missing anything that prevents it from being a top choice. Next up we have the Edge browser. Now some people might be a little upset that this made the list, but in my experience, Edge is actually a really good browser. Now, Edge really doesn't have many features compared to something like Dolphin, but the reason it made the list, besides its smooth overall experience, is its tight integration with your Microsoft account. So for those of you who heavily use their Hotmail accounts, this is definitely something you should use if you're not already. It'll have all of your saved passwords, your bookmarks, your web history, and you can sync your activity on mobile with a PC running the desktop version of Edge. So even if you don't heavily use a Microsoft account, maybe you'll want to use it just to get that sync feature with the desktop version of Edge. But uh, other than that, it's got a sweet looking dark mode and an overall a really clean interface. I dig it. Next we have Kiwi Browser. Facundo from Android Police actually told me to check this out and I'm glad he did. This browser so far is awesome. It's based on Chromium and WebKit and it aims to be the fastest browser in keeping as many ads away as possible. One of my favorite features besides the loading speeds is the dark mode. Not only does it black out the UI, but it blacks out the web pages you visit as well. This browser's got settings for adding addresses and payment cards for autofill purposes and it also saves your passwords as well. We've also got an experimental feature for having a bottom set address bar which is something I kind of like. And like I mentioned earlier, Kiwi really aims to prevent you from having annoying pop-ups and ads. And so far throughout my usage, I really haven't experienced any much of that at all. So I believe the browser is doing its job. Kiwi is only a few months old, so you may encounter a bug here or there. So far I haven't, but yeah, this is definitely one I'd recommend you check out. Second to last on the list, we have Firefox. Now most of you have probably already seen or used Firefox already in some capacity, but this year it's gotten a major overhaul, adding stability, more speed, and a UI redesign. But of course the power of Firefox is in the extensions. There are so many popular ones like Adblocker, a YouTube MP3 downloader, Google Translate, a ton of VPN extensions, and hundreds more. Just like with Edge, you can also sync up with the desktop version of Firefox, which is pretty neat. You also have web page features like being able to save it as a PDF, print, and save home screen shortcuts. Overall performance of Firefox is great, web pages load really fast, and I have yet to experience any major UI bugs. It's a fast, featureful, and reliable browser. Now finishing off the list, we have Opera Mini. Opera is a pretty simple yet clean and functional browser. It has a home page set up almost exactly like Firefox where you've got your website shortcuts at the top and then news and ads going further down, but at least in the settings you can fine tune the content you want to be shown on the home page. What I like about Opera the most is the option to give you a tablet mode, which gives a look similar to how Chrome was on tablets in the Nexus era. I prefer this layout much more than the standard phone oriented mode, and you can also customize the theme. So you've got your pick between red, green, blue, purple, this bluish gray, and black. When it comes to functionality, Opera Mini has a combined data saver and ad blocker, which is supposed to keep all the unwanted browsing content away, a night mode, which essentially just brings the phone's brightness all the way down, and then you have a menu for going to save offline pages. Performance with browsing on Opera is pretty much on par with every other browser mentioned on the list, and I've had no stability issues so far. Overall, I'd say if you want the tablet browsing layout, check out Opera Mini. It's free. But that's pretty much it. If you haven't checked out some of these browsers on this list like Edge or Kiwi, you should check them out. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.